previously on Unstable. Ali and I made up after our big fight about Jenna. We need to work as a team. Friends first, always. No, <laughs> Jenna made a mistake that made Megan look bad. What? Saddle's not in here. What do you mean, there's no saddle? How do you forget a saddle, Megan? Well, Ali was riding, I'm sorry, I guess. Now I look like I'm incompetent as a manager. And things were about to get worse. Jenna, Mason's gonna need stitches. Come here. Come here. Great. How did that go? Oh. What's gonna cost me to stitch that? I'm just gonna put the friggin' vet on speed dial. We're gonna become our new best friends. My two year old has cut his face open and is gonna need some stitches. I don't know. I don't do anything to my horses, they do it to themselves. All right, thanks. Bye. We gotta start looking at these fences, girls. The whole barn fences are awful. We're either gonna have to reboard the entire barn or we're gonna have to buy electric so that they stay off the fence line. From now on, until we figure this fencing stuff out, don't put this down we'll and do them on half days other. until. We'll get them ready for the vet and get out of the stall and let them have something to eat. All right. Someone told me what you put in the light, you take away. So I won't stand around Cause life moves fast and it won't wait And there's no room in this whole world For giving up on crazy dreaming I'm gonna hold on tight And take the chances I've been given Cause this is my time For a ride We've been having a lot of bad luck this month. My stallions caught a virus at the beginning of the month, which affected their breathing. I'm gonna call them Scarface now. Call no, Pacino. there won't be a scar. Come on. Have faith, my dear. All right. Have faith. All right. Oh, I know, buddy. There's been some injuries, and it's been costing, I guess, the girls quite a bit. Just recently, Lino got stitches from playing with horses over the field. How's his cough? Gone. Good. Yeah. I didn't show him that weekend. Oh, no? No. Well, that's good. That's probably the right call. Yeah. Perfect. Here you go, handsome. Good boy. You are not going out beside anybody anymore. You being playful is costing me money. I can't believe my luck. Well, this should be the end of it. I hope so. It better be. I can't take it anymore. You guys are on my payroll. On the flip side, I do have my mare that's pregnant and she's due any day. Well, she's looking good. Yeah. She's getting all loose. She should be good to go. Jenna and Megan have been staying over here the last couple nights, basically getting up every half hour on the clock all night long, checking the mare. Okay. All right, well, call me if you have any issues. Thank you. Sounds good. Appreciate See it. See ya. Okay, take care. If you want, I'll always tell. How we're gonna find one nail that that caused this? Well, this is where he's always playing, right? So, well, there's one there. And there's here too. Like I've never seen a fence this bad before. That's just crazy. I don't know how she could expect us to turn out any of our horses in these paddocks. Really, what we need to do is refence the entire line, or at least put electric in so they stay off the fence. But she's never gonna spend the money on that. It's hard to work with horses and keep them sound and healthy when they keep coming in from the fields every day with something, some sort of problem. We wouldn't be able to put the foal out here. Any horse would get hurt on these nails. I guess that's what you get when you, uh, you're a rider, don't actually know how to run a farm. So you all set and organized for the night then? Yeah, I'm fine. Not too tired? 
No, I'm exhausted, but you know, it's my job, so. Well, I know, but I could stay, I don't mind. I'm fine. <laughs> Jenna does have to go home tonight. She's got some uh, family commitments to tend to, so Megan will be on her own for the night. She's been showing signs that she's gonna fall soon. So it's, you know, a good idea to have people around, uh, you know, just in case something happens in the middle of the night. Is Dan coming over? Maybe. Mm -hmm. No. What no, 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 it's not, no, it's not appropriate. She's here working. No, but she's kind of going beyond the call of duty having to stay overnight. No, well then invite a girlfriend over. I'll to suck it up, princess. Oh, call me if you need me, I'll have my phone on. Don't right. call me, I'll be sleeping. Yeah. Why don't you rub it in a little more? <laughs> Bye guys. Later. All right, see you, have a good Close night. Close up the barn. Like I do every other night. Just do it. So I walked in and everything looked fine at first. Got a call at about 4 a.m. from Megan crying, hysterical, um, not a good sign, four o'clock in the morning. No, it's not moving, it's covered in straw. I don't know, she, she went down when I wasn't, I was, I didn't see her go down. I wasn't there. It's not alive, the fool. No, it's not moving. Yeah, can you get here please? Thank you, thank you. Hi, sweetheart. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Come on. It's okay. Were you there when it happened? No. I'm gonna have to check on her and it was already in the stall. Why don't you go outside for a bit and just take a walk? Oh. Oh, jeez. You know, from what I can see, I just, I really don't know what happened, what went wrong. I guess I can call Jamie and come and help us. It looked like the mother might have cleaned the foal. Uh, he, I mean, he was lying there clean. It looked. I mean, it looked like he was alive when he came out by the way he was positioned. Poor Megan, she's gonna blame herself. She slept in. She's not a trained vet. She was just here to, you know, help the process if there was something she could do. But, I mean, this was bigger than her. It was bigger than all of us. There was nothing any of us could do if we were here. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. It's okay, guys, guys. They all know. I can feel it. Let me get a tarp, I'll find a tarp. Hey Jamie, it's Allie. No, I'm not okay. Allie lost the baby last night. I don't know what happened. I don't know, he's just lying here. 
Ellie, like, it's she, okay. She cleaned him up and everything, and he's just he's just lying here. It doesn't I I don't understand. Yeah, he'll be here in 15 minutes. Thanks. Bye. Everyone's trying to save the world these days. No one wants to do a thing. You okay? I'm all right. It's all right. You know it's not your fault. I feel like I like let her down, let everyone down. How did you didn't let everyone down? I knew Megan um, kind of blamed herself for not, you know, being there. Got your message. I got here as quick as I could. Hey, nature's cruel, Meg. I know, I know. Let's go in the barn and just deal with it and get it over with, okay? And then we can at least start the healing process. All right. Come on. Lost you for the midnight. I found you in the morning. Thanks for helping. No problem, guys. That's too bad. It sucks. Yeah. Nature's cruel. I can't believe it. Friggin' waste. We're turning into monsters. We're turning into war. So let's stop printing posters. Let's say that we. I went home for a few hours to try and rest and then got a call from the girls again. Hi, Allie. Hey, how's it going? Uh, not so good. She was uncomfortable, but then she kept getting up and down again and started thrashing, so we took her out to walk her, and then she couldn't barely walk. She was shaking. You know, so the mare right now is my biggest concern, making sure that she's going to be okay. You know, she is quite restless, and I don't know if she's going to go through any kind of stress that might cause her to colic. I came back, and, you know, all hell broke loose, and the mare was, like, down and panting. What's happening? She looks like she's colicking, but it could be anything. Yes. She needs attention, like, right now. The sign, the sign of colic. colic? She's not happy. No. Does Allie know she's not good? Yeah. yeah. She's on her way. I think maybe we should stay away from the stall doors. Why do you have to leave her alone? That's horrible. Why because they'd rather be alone. It makes them less stressed out. So how can something, when it's hurting or, or stressed or anything, at that point want to be alone? Like, I don't understand that. Oh. You're all right, honey. I just remember Allie saying she's seen her, her share of dead horses, and I just, I haven't yet. We already lost a baby today. Like, I just, I don't think I can handle losing another horse. Yeah, Ellie's here. Guys, less action, please. The mayor was just standing there, kind of in shock, I think, not quite sure what, you know, what to think. She was digging and digging and digging, like just pawing with her, her front leg, just going through the straw. It was completely and utterly heartbreaking to watch. I called another vet to come out, uh, the ones that I use for on-call emergencies. The vet came in and she assessed uh, the mayor for the placenta. Hi. 
the placenta wasn't in one piece. She had an air pocket, uh, quite a large size in her large colon that was of concern and recommend that I take her to the University of Guelph uh, Equine Hospital. Should we bring the foal to Guelph so they can see it? You know what, it wouldn't be a bad idea because they have a post-mortem room there and they can do an exam on her, okay. on, the, on the baby. A Little bit of a panic because my boyfriend had to drop his friend off in Toronto and took my truck, not thinking that I would have to take a horse to Guelph. Should we call Jamie? Yeah. She's colicking and she needs to be sewed up. So can I come and get your truck? Where's your truck? What? Flat tire, great. This truck is a flat tire? No, it's just we're gonna do a flush and make sure there's nothing still left in her. Luckily he came back in time and uh, we hooked the truck up. Okay. I'm not putting her down for this. No, not for a tear. Not when she could breed again, you know? Like, if it was going to be one of these things that she'd become a pet horse, then it would be hopefully she can recover on her own, you know what I mean? This is a good mare. You know, she's impeccably bred and uh, such a good mother and such a sweetheart and I think would be very difficult to replace her. Good. So her heart rate is heart rate's still a little elevated. Elevated. Um, which is uh, it's a little bit concerning. OK, breeding program is now officially over. Cut all the stallions. <laughs> I feel blue today. Not the kind of way that makes the okay, tears stop. fall. Not the Monday the morning you don't want to want get to back like off. Yeah, I half. feel blue today. Do we have buckets and hay for the ride home and all that yet? She's not going to stay on the trailer. She stays in Guelph. Yeah. They so they'll stalls, feed water, etc. I know, but what if the she truck breaks down? Like, think outside the bubble, please, OK? okay? Well, Just put a couple buckets on the buck on the trailer for me. Oh, Let it go. We Did were we young it? and innocent back then. Back then, we thought what we had was always going to last. Is it going to last? Just take them out. Leave the wheelbarrow here. No, we need the wheelbarrow. Here. here. So, yeah, we just loaded her on the trailer, so we're heading there now. Great, thanks for your help. All right, bye. You know the back route? So, up nine to. I know the exact route you take. My stepsister's in Guelph. I have a map up in my truck. Yeah. 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 And then you follow 24. And right on 24. Yeah. Got there's some. We're going to do the 407 and the crop. Yeah. There's trouble on this road. I say no ordinary highway. For each and every hall. See you trying to spot off, you're gone a million miles away. All those long, long drives round the world. The one lesson I've learned is that I will always be a suck when it comes to animals. Like, my heart broke for that mom. You know, she's probably a lot more emotional person than I am, very upset, couldn't look at the foal, having a hard time looking at the, you know, the distress that Ellie was going through. You know, I've been through this a few times before, so if I seem like I'm a bit cold, I'm not. It's just I'm used to it. I just... I wanted to know everything that was going on. Like, I just wanted to be, not necessarily just a part of it, but I had to know, like, what they were doing, how she was reacting. It's just like, I can't just sit there and watch. It's very consistent with what Dr. Barnum has seen. Her heart rate isn't hugely high. Uh, my concerns at this point are, OK, what's causing the gas to build up? And that's the, that is the last part of the large colon that we believe is um, 
distended, then that's what we're feeling. Okay, Mayor, two seconds, sweetie, and you'll be able to do whatever you want. Basically now she's hooked up to IVs. The colic right now is the main concern. It's just uh, time and drugs and seeing if it, she's going to snap out of it. She just didn't seem happy in that stall. She is looking for her baby. And how do you explain to her that, you know, that it's gone? You can't. It's already costing me about $3,000. For one day being at the University of Guelph. One for emergency admission, initial diagnostics and evaluation, which is everything we did tonight. Mm -hmm. Hospital care, including IV fluids and medications. Yeah. Hopefully, all goes well, but uh, like I said, you'll hear from me if, if things anything. don't. If it's gonna need surgery, I mean, there's such a crapshoot with surgeries these days, you know, uh, it can go either way. Are you gonna need someone to ride in the back with her if she used to come home, or can you trailer her by yourself? I'll be fine to trailer by myself. Tammy and I got into a bit of a riff, uh, just in terms of the financials. It just seemed like she did a complete 180. Okay. If she right. needs surgery, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's 10 grand. It's not gonna happen. As cruel as this sounds, we can buy another mare for less than that. And once they colic, they can colic again and again and again. They're prone to it, right? So you spend the 10, we can't insure that. No one's gonna insure especially for colic, right? Okay, we're on the same page for that. So when we get there, then we know how to deal with it and we just do it. However, I did talk to my mother today and they're willing to help me out should that be the decision if she needs surgery. So hopefully not, but if so, there is a good chance that we are gonna be able to save her, so. Next time on Unstable. What are you doing here? I think we should take the girls with us to the cottage, and you come too. She's been in a weird mood all day. Did you guys bring your outfits for tonight? What's wrong? Nothing, it's just, it's communication problem. Why do you have to ruin this? Your attitude sucks. Mm -hmm.